Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to map two of this Meta Valorant 2021 Victoria Grand Finals between Glen Waverly Secondary College and Glen Waverly Secondary College. Has what do you think about that first map? I thought it was quite enjoyable, Amp. I think it was a lot of fun to be had from both teams there, both showing off some very nice plays from both players. And uh, in the end, G5, uh, AAA especially, just looking very, very potent on that, that jet pick. And uh, it was just a bit too strong, especially that first half, that 9-3 advantage they got from that attacking side. Even when they were challenged towards the end, there was enough to get them over the line. But we move on to map two now, which I believe is going to be Haven, as both teams are just getting ready to get back into the game and get their player picks. And I do wonder if there's going to be any real changes to this one here. Uh, rather, I mean, I, I think we were thinking as well, maybe a Viper could have been picked up there on towards Split. I know we were discussing that during the break about, you know, just some of the differences they could have done there to hold off a bit more even towards mid. You know, you've got that Viper wall plus the Sage wall to hold it up. But in the end, hindsight is twenty twenty. So now we move in as both teams are putting towards their players, looking around what they want, what they get to pick. They've got 70 seconds to go through all that. But Imp, this is where it all comes down to here. G5, a chance to take the series, to take the championship for Victoria to be the Meta High School champions. While on the other side, Eviction Notice, if they go down here, that is Sayonara Farewell. They are done. So there is a lot to play for for both teams here. As they start getting their stuff together, but yeah. <laughs> I... <laughs> As I looked over on the right there, ah, so it yeah. does look like now they have started changing. Up. I was, oh, I was, I was really looking forward. That looked like an Overwatch map back in the day where you just have six uh, Winston players all ready to go out and just oh, jump. Oh god, that's that. Okay, we're getting real old now. That's like 2016. Oh start boy. Of <laughs> but unfortunately, it is just going to be. A range of players being picked out. So the Cypher coming out from Yaoi this time. Meanwhile, uh, it's pretty much the same over on the other side for... I mean, Happy Goldbar going towards that Omen pick. But, uh, yeah, so there's not huge changes from either team. Both picking up Sovers. But yeah, so they want to get off to the start here. Eviction notice. They did, unfortunately, drop it in that first defensive side. Of the last map, they just couldn't put together that attacking... Prowess that they probably needed a bit more of in the end, and it's really interesting to see how aggressive they want to be on this defensive side. But if they try and get the pistol the first two and just sort of build from there, if they can, that is what they would want to be doing. But Imp, 14 seconds before we get this one underway, are we seeing a third map after this one, or is it going to be G5 becoming the champions of Victoria? Well. If we went down 16 to 3, definitely would have been more contested in that topic. But at this second, it looks like we are going to be able to maybe go for a contention here on Map Doom Heaven because three sides, three uh, three areas to contend is something that, you know, it's very hard for defense to really catch up if one side just starts to go for a massive play here. Triple A being spotted here, getting shushed away, and the rest of um, G5. I mean, this is okay. This is not so bad. They are just trying to force a rotation in. Meanwhile, the rest here is trying to um, maybe... Well, I don't know. I think they are going to try to pivot towards this mid position and go from a garage into the C play. Otherwise, it's an open B, which is still okay if they don't want to be dealing with the Killjoy. Yeah, so far they haven't particularly pushed on towards that A sub. That's where all the players are grouped up. So it's looking like they want to burst out here, although the bomb... They're looking towards that mid B section if they do want to go down that way, but... 48 seconds and counting. They aren't giving anything away at the moment. Yowie and Darren holding up those close angles as now they start pushing in. This is where things are going to become very, very difficult here for the boys on eviction notice, holding that A site. Happy Goldbar up towards heaven. Meanwhile, down on the site, it is Ryan. Is Darren already pulling over that wolf as well. Now they start jumping on. And here we go. The push on the side here from Yowie is coming out first. Throwing down the smoke there. Is he going to be picked out? And a few locations revealed. And Happy Goldbar uses it to his advantage. Knocking Yowie down. 4v5. The bomb will go down. Two getting jumped by that wolf there around the corner. Triple A swings out. Gets one. They get a second as well. Happy Goldbar. The Razzano with the trades back. Triple A with a third. He's trying to keep live up to his name here. Deron will shut him down. Box Ray or Bexaray. Unfortunately unable to get the second there. Happy Goldbar. And it's going to be Duran who finishes it off. 1-0. They had to work very, very hard for it, but eviction notice they get that first round. They did it last map. 
Unfortunately, they couldn't convert the second, and they need to make sure they do it here. If they want to keep this one going. An Aries out from Dara? Oh, I wouldn't mind that. Wouldn't mind seeing that out in the second round. Whether they keep it or not remains to be seen. That's the one thing that always gets me with Valorant. It's like, oh, you know, I see the guns, but I'm like, oh, yes, well, in this one, and then they change it five seconds later. It's like, oh, you had me excited. Well, hey, look, you know, if we do get the early sprays coming out, which is a lot of power potential coming in for that mid play, Triple A instantly with a Marshall is going to lock down this C. And of course, when you're a kill tree, you don't really have to deal with that. And you see Yahoo is trying to get a little bit more closer, trying to get some form of a control coming in. But the ring here with that Ares sitting nice and prettily through this window and garage doesn't have to do anything. Just waits for a response, swings out. All the bullets going to fly to the head and... Yeah, we're slowly trying to go for a danger close here. Gets the camera in. Gonna quickly retreat it at the same time. And of course, Yuri, he, he hears all this. He's just waiting. You can see the rotation coming in, but there is gonna be a blind. We will see if they're gonna be able to pick anything up. <laughs> Gap in the smoke there, and yeah, we can do absolutely nothing about that being put down. Find that Aries. Damn, we're trying to get on towards that B side. He's gonna go down as the bomb's still out towards. On a second mid area, do they want to go through the back here as Voids? He didn't jump by that wolf as well, so they're aware what they're sort of trying to do. The A site already been pushing out towards long there Standing ahead. is Ryan, so he's getting a lot of info that they're not really in that direction as well. Now, here for G5, what do they do in this situation? They don't really have the guns, left. don't have much utility. Happy Golba also getting pretty aggressive up towards Standing that side ahead. of beat. And I don't know if Bex and Voids and everyone's going to check on the left. If they don't, there's trouble. They do, though. Voids does. And Triple A gets away. And Happy Gold Bar picks up two. Arozna with one themselves. And that is a perfect start there for Eviction Notice. 2 0. And now, if they can try and convert this bonus round here across as well, they're going to have a lot of money in that bank. And. Yeah. G5, they need to make sure they pick up this game around here because they put that down. All of a sudden, 3 0 might become 4 0, and then it really starts spiraling downwards if they can't get it out under control. I'm actually very impressed with how Eviction Notice was able to hold that last round. Um, the angle definitely paid off in loss of units for them. At this second, Ryan gets that first info, gets two, that he knows that there are people here, but Happy Copa gets dropped instantly. There's a location scare review. He gets a lot of info, and the rest of Eviction Notice. Needs to give this side up at the same time. You can just tell they want more. They want to take this really quickly. And the side here, Wrong Heaven, is going to be in that blind. Doesn't really get anything. No form of control at all. And the rest of the Eviction Notice is here to go for the play. But Bexray is going to go for a quick Fight tap plan. in. Gets the full in. But Ryan gets the kill with the triple A. Huge. Ooh. Ryan with a double. He finally gets shut down. And this is the push. They're all lined up. Yowie though responding back here on the high shot. The Ryan though puts down boys and now it's left in Yowie in the 1v2 situation. And the Aries is popping off there for Duran. And it's 3-0. They convert their bonus round as well. They pick up some Vandals. They pick up a Phantom. And that is some guns across. Some good economy saved as well. The credits they build up. And well now here for G5. I mean they can probably invest in this round if they want to. But... It's going to be sort of that half buy for everyone, you'd imagine. And actually, I think it might just be pistols and a bit of armor. Possibly a bit of utility use, but... Could be looking good here for Eviction Notice. A chance to open up a 4-0 advantage. Especially on the defensive side here, that's exactly what they were after. Remember, if you've just joined us, it was G5 picking up split 13-9. to So Eviction Notice need to pull off the reverse sweep here and win the next two way. maps if they want to become the champions here. As it's going to be the push out towards the top of mid here right now. Triple A. The knives are deployed. Looking in here. Goes in with the flash as well there. The group is sort of pushed off towards that angle. He gets a span through the smoke, but he's not ready for Triple A to start pushing through. They're looking for a second. Happy Goldbar shuts it down. The right in the corner. One, two. Looking for a third. Vex will shut them down. Up before high shot. Then he gets the trade in. And 4 0. Just like that, Amp. A nice buffer being built here by the side of Eviction Notice. Eviction Notice right now, obviously losing that first one wasn't as great, but you know what? That was actually really insane coming from Eviction Notice. I mean, they could have just seriously crumpled because Triple A had the nice reset already in deep into what's their defense. And then Eviction Notice says, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, relax. We are going to take this nice and easy. Just chill out. We retake. And they took it 
really under the stride. They didn't fall under the pressure at all. And this is such a tough place for them to contain. If they lose this one as well, then they are just going to get dropped. And the economy is just going to be looking worse and worse. It's what they're going to be able to get this. Ryan instantly answers that one to Yaoi. A big, big operator kill here. And Triple A here being pushed by Hush Shot doesn't really get something at the same time. And of course, there is still a big area seat that they can swing. Oh, but big Bex, so ready for the trade on that one. Hush Shot still keeps the advantage over towards Jim. The spam down here for Rizna. One, they pick up the second. They don't quite. Voids will get the trade back. And now Triple A with one as well. 2v2. The bomb can start to go down here. The has been popped here from Ryan. Triple A sitting towards the back corner as Void gets that Spike one down. Planted. The spike is planted. Ryan pushing through though. He's trying to get into the side as quickly as possible. Lands down. He's going to that over. Happy Goldbar will pick him up. And now Triple A trying to get it. But Happy Goldbar with the 2k to finish it off. 5-0 eviction notice. They're rolling here on Haven. They're feeling it. They were looking pretty ominous at times on that defensive half over on Split. And it has come alive here at the moment. They are feeling it very, very nicely. And yeah, they'll be able to, should be able to buy into this one G5, but 5-0 start, not a great one for confidence, even after winning that first map. They start the, well, they want to be at least getting three, four rounds on the board. This will start happening sooner rather than later. Well, this also plays into the fact that, you know, you give a lot of respect to one kill trade just to one side. And so, you should notice, you know, they've been holding the side down really well with this just one C. And the rest of G5 hadn't really made a dent into the attack. I mean, they've had some plans here and there that were successful. But then they weren't able to lock the side down, which seriously is time to them to fix into the current wrong. round. All right, Bexray is going to get the our drone out. Doesn't really see anything just here. Getting the pre-checks, Happy Goblin. Why is he staying back from heaven? Means that, you know, if you guys are going to come in, we're going to quickly go for the retake. It looks like they are going to bait for it. And yeah, here we go. This is the play. This is be the 5v5 retake at this point. They're not really looking at much too bad. It's Happy Goblin up towards heaven. Span through as well here from Ariz. No, hitting a couple of players as well. Not too bad, but yeah, he puts down the Ryan. And Void's one of the Happy Goblin. They've got heavy control as well here. Bex will pick up high trail. shot, 5v2, and G5 looking very solid here on this hold on towards how Yowie is hitting on 1 HP, so not uh, not too high, could definitely have a bit more, and Darren's going to go over and give them a hand there, bring that HP up all the way to pretty much 100, I think, there, so he's Shocked pretty up. nice, shocked up, going to push him out of that corner, but I mean, not much here, Arizna and Ryan can really do at this point, and this should be a first round on the board here for the G5, it. it's taken them... To the sixth round, but they've gotten the job done in the end. A pretty flawless push on towards this A site. Retake, unfortunately, just never really got underway there for eviction notice as they drop their first round here on Haven. And everyone should get out from the bomb. And they do. Very nicely indeed. G5, they're on the board, and there they are on this second map. Yeah, there we go. Can I mean, I like, this? if they were going to get this, then, yeah, that's going to be a little bit rough. But you know what? He's gonna be just fine, and I did say one thing, Thank right? You. If you are gonna be the one to swing it as the attacking side, you need to commit hard into the map. Haven is something that you must stack and must get, you know, which side right, right? If you're gonna go there for that B control in the mid, you're gonna quite, uh, yeah. pretty much trade out the rest of the route into A, because mostly you have to push through to B in order to claim A, uh, where in the other side, if you go for the A, you can always rough with a fake C. So this is cool. Could be just be the break for them. Scout and Dara scout. here does get some info. Happy go by is he's setting to the side, so they are gonna try to go for a push. Doesn't really get too much. <laughs> oh, <laughs> happy go with the judge jumps through anyway. Says nope, I do not care. We're gonna trade here, and at the worst, I'm gonna pick you up. So that's really good. It pays off for them. Just runs through his own teammates grenade there as well just like ah oh, you know what uh, i gotta judge so whatever point you had is basically mute i shot now which we can get towards along here they don't know the triple a's all the way here at the moment they go back just as that's happening be where somebody's going to the alarm pops out but voice is there with him now and all of a sudden 4v4 the ball and 4v3 is the problem to the side happy goal by goes looking doesn't find anything though as the bomb will should go down in this situation Shock dart, so that's going to be running right on top there of Triple A. Let's get healed up a bit there, but let's look at him, and now the bomb goes down, so 3v2 situation in this one here. The rest of them do get a bit flashed off there as Void sitting in the corner. 
He's looking up towards heaven, but he's got to deal with the two coming towards main as well. Meanwhile, sitting down towards the back, but Beck's going to go down now. It's all on voids, and he can't really do that much there against three. Picks up Ryan, but that's all he'll get. Five to one will be six to one. And if they continue on their merry way here, Eviction Otis making... I mean, they're allowing the plants to go down. They're not too fast. With, uh, I think they're confident Imp, with these retakes that they're doing. There's been a few 5v5s in that situation there. That actually sort of drop numbers was almost a 3v3 in the end. And they still managed to clear it up very, very nicely. Yeah, this is the things that I like about Eviction Notice. They are able to adjust their current strategy and they say, you know what? We'll let you come and go for the plant. We know that you're going to be traded and where most of the utilities are going to be thrown. Now, in order to attack and get this heaven up, you have to invest an enormous amount of utilities. Usually, we have pretty much everything just to solidify your position. Getting all that uh, strategy out is great and all, but Eviction Notice, they say, don't worry, we got you. As soon as you come back in, we're going to reinvest and just get you straight down. So this is going to be get one coming way. from uh, G5. They are angry and they want this play. Look at them. All five just at the back of C here. They are ready to make a massive push onto just one player here. And High Shot has to be the one to nail this. The only one saw the boys at the back of sight. Swarm Grenade does push them back in the moment. Also, pop there of the other old as well. I was going to send them running back from C. So they thought about it. And now they're deciding, you know what? There's a few other sites. Maybe we'll try those. Do they want to aggressively push towards A at this stage? And on the angle here, Ryan's going to be seeing a few. He gets one with that operator. The bongo's down as well. And he's trying to pick the spot where they start crossing. Wool. not be able to quite get that one. Happy goal, but he's going to point towards heaven. Also going to be joined there from Ryan. Imagine just get away. It's triple A. Three on the side there. Oh, that's a lovely few knives under Arisna. Ryan, though, with another one with that operator. This time on the Yow. He has six there from Darren. Ryan, that's three. Oh, he's feeling a jumping down. Well, that was very, very aggressive. Don't know if that was the correct play to do there, but tried it all the same. Now the bomb triple A needs to put it down. And Voice gets happy goal bar. And all of a sudden, they're back left. into this one here. In 28 seconds, they're going to try and rotate and get on towards this B or C site. Oh, this is going to be very close. I think they're going to have to try B. There's no way they're going to be able to get to C in time. Actually, no, they should. I forget how fast these guys can actually walk compared to CS. But they're trying to get towards the side now. The problem is, though, is that waiting on the side to Ryan. And the angle held perfectly. And Voice now has to get the kill, the spike down. They're just not going to have enough time here. And unfortunately, they try and get the fake in, but Darren just holds it perfectly. Darren, I should say, Duran. The, uh, Darren, uh, on the other hand, so we've got Duran sitting on 10 kills. Darren uh, is yet to get on the scoreboard, uh, kill-wise, that is. As we are going to be getting a timeout here from G5. So 60 seconds on the clock for that one. But yeah, they need this at the moment. 7-1 down. They are just not feeling it on this attacking half at the moment. So they've yeah, got a look, lot to think about. That's not so bad. And at the same time, I believe we also have a competition right now that we have not set. But right now, Pax VRP experience is uh, having a competition. So basically, our sponsor, Billy Blue College of Design at Torrance University, has also got a great comp competition going on. So you can win a Pax VRP experience for two and an online session. So right now, because Pax has been delayed, it looks like it's just going to be an online session with a professional League of Legends player or streamer from Legacy Esports. And all you have to do is fill out their online entry form and, yeah, get yourself involved into the PAX stuff. Yeah, well, the PAX, of course, unfortunately, physically uh, has been cancelled, which was a uh, very unfortunate news that came out uh, recently. Uh, I think it was last week. Well, actually, might have been this week that that stuff did come out there, but... Fortunately, there still is going to be an online version, so you, anyone who does enter the competition can still do that stuff there. As we get ready to get into this round number nine. Too far, the timeout's done. You'd be wondering what they went through there, probably thinking up another strat or two, because six rounds down here. They need to try and get that three or four just to keep themselves in this competitively. They don't want to get close in. High shot. He's already pushed pretty quickly there. Darren is going to be running straight through. Gets another flash out as well. And he's just pushing this one straight up. The classic coming out. The spam down from Darren. The right clicking gets something done to Ryan, though. He's still going to be able to get the trade and still on the side here. And then the line them up. Gets one. Gets almost the second. The cypher ult does come out. So he knows where the rest of them are. And a couple of guns picked up as well. 3v3. This could actually be G5. They have the opportunity to take this round here. One that you really wouldn't have thought they had much of a go into. 
Yeah, like, even with a drone here, they're trying to bait every utility out. There's gonna be one year reverse. There's gonna be the scan here, but at the same time, everyone's just been taken out by Triple A, and now Ryan has to quickly retreat with a big operator. Doesn't really want to give that away and chip up Triple A at the same time. You have to give it to them, right? They adjusted quite well in G5. They are going to solidify another round. 7-2. to two. They're going to bring it um, back up a little bit more for them. A little bit for morale. At the same time, Darren picked up the first kill. Uh, which is always good to kill. And uh, Ryan at the same thrifty. time. He's going to quickly come back. Nice thrifty coming in. And you got to feel it. If you are a G5 waiting for their revival. This is the one that you were looking for. Yeah, Darren's feeling pretty nice now. It was even just the classic as well, just running up, spamming high shot. That one's going in the clips montage. And very beautiful there. The aim, the consistency, just everything you're after from a nice kill in Val. And now 7-2, to so G5. Got a few on the board with three to go in this half. Realistically, they could still make this 7-5 if things start falling their way. As they're looking to try and burst out onto one of these sides here. It's going to be out towards mid. Whether they want to go through garage or straight up towards B remains the question. Ryan and it's the only one sitting towards this B side at the moment. Play feeling very, very aggressive, trying to get up, seeing what they can spot out. Picked up 26 kills over on split. Darren with that flash out though, they're throwing everything out towards this one. And Ryan, they know he's there now. The version revealed. Just so trying to put that one down, but Triple A will get Ryan down the jump there as well. On the wolf left. That one there. Happy goal, but walk through the smoke. Let's pick up Triple A, but Darren there with a the trade. And now high shot. He's going to walk into Darren's. Crosshair as well, 4v2, oh Yowie, God. that's where Duran is now, and well, the Marshal is out, but not much they can realistically do, Rizna does try and spam down a bit there, notices Darren, but not really going to get much it. done as the bomb continues to tick down, and this should be round number three, and they're starting to bring this one back there, trying to push into them as the bank comes towards the back of the side, Duran will pick up both, not before Darren gets taken no. down there. Just not having, not his game at the moment for Darren. He's just wandering into crosshairs and not picking up all the kills. But his team, D5, trying to get back in towards this first half. 7 to 3. 7 to 5, still very possible here, Am. Yeah, look, it, this is still very possible. If G5 brings this back into 7 5, I mean, they are going to go for a nice switch up because they had to be put off with all the kill joy. They realized that they just can't push C at all. I mean, they've tried with all their might and they said no nah, this is not the round and right now this is a round of Vico coming in from eviction notice and they do want to make a claim right here activating his knives ready to go for the full storming get the full reset but the rest of g5 they know this they know this is going to be the round where they cannot buy so they're saying all right well we will just trade one person giving that respect on ryan but then the rest you can't really do anything where we've already solidified alpha's current position you have to push into us oh and this is a nice value camp here and yeah he's heard all of that as well there's human voids holding towards the back here there's three players ring to swing out from long as they get the spam right. Boys picks up two to Ryan with a trade back, but Yowie trades him out as well. Ryan, the ult doesn't get anything done, unfortunately, and Happy Goldbar now left in a 1v4 situation. The Sheriff out, but not much they can really do here. Also being found out there, blinded, push. They can do absolutely nothing as they go down 7 to 4, G5. Last and round in the back half. very nicely, 7 to 4. And yeah. They're trying one more round. They put this down as a pretty good half, and that timeout just came at the right time. <laughs> time just at the right, right time. No, that's <laughs> a bit of wordplay for everyone there. Just beautiful stuff. Hey, look, you know, you always need to make the best of it. Of course, you're in the finals. If you are going to go into attack pools because you're just not having any momentum and your opposition knows just how to, like, you know, defend this whole time, you, you should take that break. You should just quickly huddle up and say, all right, look, we need to execute something a little bit better. We need to work on our current strategies. And this is the big one, right? 8-4 is something to contend with, but... If we're going to go into a 7-5, G5 is going to be hitting their mark and they're going to be absolutely happy that they only dropped two in the beginning. And that is a score that they can work with because G5 is just such a solid uh, performer as a team. And at the same time, it feels like there's no momentum going on for Eviction Notice. Both sides just sort of waiting for something to come in here, isn't it? Towards Garage. I'm not peeking towards it yet. Darren's sending out 
Wolf looking around, and a few things popped here and there. Uh, so far, looking like the sign is going to be a C split here. Triple A with that operator as well, looking down towards those boxes. And Rizna sends out the recon bot. We'll find one as well. And Yowie is revealed as Darren pushes their way in towards here. And they're going to be revealed as Darren jumps down. Well, I should say, Rizna jumps down towards Darren, going to Get pick them up. Only we'll five. Well, the push in the scene isn't coming now. 30 seconds. They can't really try to rotate at this point. As Beck's trying to get a few kills to spam with the bolt here. The Hunter's Fury doesn't quite pick much up there. 20 seconds. They will, I mean, they could probably go into B if they want to, but it's going to have to be very, very quick. Unless they want to rotate all the way towards A, they might... Oh, they think about it for a second, but all of a sudden, hang on, no, we have to go through mid. If Duran times this well, the Wolfen's going to be jumping quite a few here as they try and get the bomb down. He does, four seconds. The bomb should still be able to go down. Arizna 2 with the Hunter's Fury. Vex gets one's back with Duran with the immediate trade. Now Triple A in a 1v4. Triple A, the operator, there's still an opportunity here. Pulling out the knives as well, but High Shot will close it out. And that is going to be round number eight there. Woo, big plays from both sides in that round, but it is going to be the guys over on Eviction Notice. An eight for half on the defense. They'll be pretty happy with that. Now they need just five rounds to pick up this Haven map Switching pick. Sides. And move us to a third. Meanwhile, G5. Nine rounds needed. Amp, they've got a bit of work to do here. Yeah, they definitely have a lot to work right there. Eight to four, it's actually quite big on a map like Haven. Because you get rolled over to the next one, you lose this pistol, you lose the next one. You come back with a bonus rose, you're all of a sudden staring at to 10-4. And that's always going to be a bad time. So 10-4 is okay, right? But you don't want to get that position. You want to be in a 6-8 position to go right for a quick trade into the bonus. And... As defenders, it here. it's make or break from there. round one. There is no excuse for you to drop that first one, right? Uh, because as soon as you hit that enemy, if you start a stack, you need to be able to hold. And the rest of your team, especially with the Cypher, needs to hold that C down. While the rest is going to have to make or break for the rest. Well, this first round becomes so very important. They can get this one here. Eviction notice goes a long way to just keeping that round diff up. And an advantage there is Void. Yes, let's put it out, but the see Cappy Goldbars, the two omens, sort of have a look at each other, blow each other a kiss. Is uh, a... And again, this time, he's going to take a bit of damage there from Ryan. So far, no one really wanting to push too far in here for the sign of eviction notice. Goldbar still holding out just from the door of Garage. As the bomb starts making its way towards a long, so... Possibly they might look to just try that one. The distraction. I mean, there's no one on the A side at the moment. It is going to be there. Avoids. He's heading back now just to Standing sort of check in what might be going on. X as well. Throwing out that recon bolt is going to be destroyed pretty much immediately. Happy Goldbar still trying to push up towards his B side as Triple A spots them out. And it's just, they're not entirely sure what they want to try here. Two now is red drifting over towards this A side. And C, they're pretty much saying, okay, there's nothing here. So maybe we do try to go towards this A side. But then the bomb is coming back. So maybe they want to go towards C there. <laughs> it's just about, oh, who's going to who fake who here at the moment? Happy Goldbar still doing trouble towards B. They've got three sitting on there now here for G5 as Beck sitting in the corner. The bomb is now heading towards this C side. And that's where they're going now. They're saying, hang on, they're going on towards C. Darren picks up Happy Goldbar and Voids gets a high shot here. And now 3v5, they need to get this bomb down 14 seconds. They should be able to get it down just before things get a bit hairy. Yes, it gets planted. They take a lot of damage from it. The push in now from Yowie. He's going to be taken down from Ryan. Duran, the trace back 3v3. Duran with three. What on earth was that? He's absolutely opened this round up. Ryan gets the final one. And a huge hold after the bomb plant there from Eviction Notice. Nine to four. Amp, that was absolutely beautiful. I thought that they'd run themselves into trouble when they were in a 5v3 in that situation there. They lost those two before the bomb had even gone down. But what a hold on towards that C site. Yeah, look, you know, when you leave the rear off and the angle is bad, there's not that much difference in firepower. It's just, do you have the headshot or not? Otherwise, you're going to be emptying the whole clip into getting to my body to take me down. And Duran, it, man, it's just so good when he popped off right there. He just made G5 bleed. And right now, they get that first uh, pistol duel, which is meaning that they're going to gun up first. And they're going to push G5 into a deficit even more. And as you can see, Berkseray with that shooting doesn't get to compete with Ryan on that Spectre. At the same time, Happy Goldberg picks up Darren, and this is starting to look a little bit better for the side of Eviction Notice. 9 to 4, looking like 10 to 4 at the moment. 
25 can't respond here. Yeah, we holding close for that shorty, but they I know are in that direction. This A side is where they're heading to. It's completely open right now. All of a sudden, Triple A and Void's realizing what might be going on here. That grenade. Oh, it's falling. It's falling. It's landing in that corner, popping out as well to see if they can clear it. Anyone there? Not a bad ult. Well, we'll need to study that one for later methods as the bomb does go down here. Might be three on the retake, but... What they can do here, G5, not a whole lot. They've got two shorties as well, which means they need really close quarters. Ryan Smangs first one gets one there. Yowie. And Void so bring it back. Now picking up the gun. The Spectre actually picks up another. Ryan does shut him down. And now 1v2, Voids. Some good damage there from Yowie, but 46 HP, just a classic in hand. As the bomb continues to tick down, it's going to be a very difficult opportunity to try and get this one done here. Let's we'll see if he could pick up a gun, possibly, but looking like it's round number 10 here for Eviction Notice Amp. Yeah, this is really rough for them to do. Look at the 60 health left. He's trying to blind it, but he's been run down. Ryan picks up a 4k. Ryan is just popping off like no tomorrow. And this man is such a legend. Today, he has picked up all the kills that he needed. He has picked up all those big martial and operator play as well. They put in G5 on to check. 10 to 4. And this is the round that they need to win, right? This is the bonus round. If they get this one, pretty much it's going to be sitting at 12 to 4 with lots of map points. At the same time, G5, if they need to make a play, this is the one. They drop this round, pretty much it's going to be lights oh, out. They're not going to even have a chance at breathing. So we might just be seeing Icebox as a finisher. And that could just be your fate that the one that you don't want to see. Get out of my well. way! It'll be a third map all the same, and that's always entertaining as Ryan's already popped the ult here as well, the knives. Look, so looking to try and possibly get aggressive on towards this B side, if possible. The bomb, I wonder what's A long. They might be thinking of trying to get under there. The wolf, not really spotting out much there. I don't know if it actually got triple A where he was sitting up and towards those boxes. As the bomb is towards the long. Got to be careful later on. He doesn't have any backup, so just needs to be careful. Throws out the hawk, and possibly we'll bring back another as... Bex going back towards heaven on eight. Meanwhile, the rest of the squad here for eviction notice, making their way towards this C site in Imagine. 50 seconds on the clock. And then just sort of sussing out what they want to do in this Recalling situation here. Yeah, I mean, look, they've got the lead. They've got the Blowstorm in the lead, and they've got High Shot locking down a quarter. This is what they're going to be doing. They are going to get the scan. And here we go. Oh, man, that massive excavation. They're gonna blind them also! It's gonna oh, be a mid- oh, oh, It gets the knife down, but yeah, everyone's starting to fall on the side of G5. And this Five is planted. gonna be a bad time. Voice also goes down. And now Bexaray needs to make something happen with Triple A. They barely miss it. Bexaray also gets taken down. Now Triple A comes out, swings, gets one. One on three. Has to deal with Tilly this gets scared as well. Has to just retreat. Yeah, at the same time, if you're eviction notice, you gotta be feeling happy about this one. You get gunned up, you get paid off. Triple A does get another, but this round is gonna go to eviction notice. There's no doubt about it. And this is just solid effort. I mean, when you get taken down really badly on the first one, what do you do in your return? You do the same back into the attacking team that you lost against, and you say, GG, let's go. We are ready to handshake down onto the third one. Uh, 10 to 4, 11 to 4 now, and well, I mean, if G5, they could sum up their game so far on Haven, I guess that knife kill would go. Uh, well, you'd look it up, that's what's staring right at them, Yowie. Uh, you never like to see it, well, you never like to see it happen if you're a fan of them, but I mean, as a neutral, that was a very nice kill there from Ryan. He missed, he did miss the knife to say, but then he just saw the opportunity. Yowie was completely blind, he said, you know what? Bugger this, pulls out a giant axe and just slams it into his back. And now, 11 to 4. G5 running out of time and opportunities to get much done here. Darren not in close here. The bird flank, he wants to try and push it, and he does here, he doesn't get much damage done. We gets a few spots there. He now falls back towards the Darren Kevin area, but... Yeah, I mean, here for Eviction Notice, they can control what they want here. They have the guns, they have the lead. 11 to 4 with 7 round buffer. They are looking in cruise control, and we might be heading to a third one here.
Yeah, it looks like we're gonna definitely go to Icebox at this stage. G5 need to pick up eight in a row in order to either solidify any position that they can do. And at the same time, it feels like the steam has really went out of them from that first one. Oh, shocked out, not really gonna pick up anything as well. At the same time, you can just tell that the rest of G5 is not as composed on this Haven map. And Eviction Notice, on the other hand, they are playing this beautifully. Look at the position. They've already got the split ready to go. And this is just starting to go solidifying all their position. And you can see they're coming in. They're making a hard push into this. Triple A gets that first one. Shuts down right the major carry. But has to deal with the rest. Can they do it? Darren gets taken out by Yurasna. At the same time, they say, all right, hang on a second. We're going to quickly go back. And Happy Goba locks out mid. Yeah, just as I was about to say, we're going to run out of time. We're going to rotate around. Oh, yeah, we know. He's got high shot. He's trying to go back towards C Long. Or I'm not really sure where they were trying to go in that situation. If they're going to go back towards mid, but they were. But now they've actually gone to C. And yeah, he's going to realize this as he picks up that gun as well. So an opportunity here, 3v3. Happy gold bar just gets away in time. Takes a bit of damage for it, though. And now Boyd's looking in the wrong direction. That teleport was doing so well there. Triple A gets blinded, but still gets away with that one. And now Happy... He's stuck in towards that B side. Triple A knows they're there and now starts pushing through the smoke. The Rizna, they get that one taken down. And now Yowie needs to pull this one out in the 1v2. He's spotted out a Rizna, but he's running out of opportunity. He's going to be revealed in the recon bolt as well. And a Rizna with a 3k in the round. 12 to 4. Eight match points. And they are looking match absolutely point. fantastic here, Eviction. They've won five on the trot here since the end of that first half. They picked up the last one. They picked up four straight here. And G5, Abbas just no answers on this defensive side of Haven. Yeah, like looking at the current performance from the first map, you would think G5 will put up more of a contention on this map. But currently, it's all about Eviction Notice. And Eviction Notice has sh shaken up all the Judas from that first map. The second one, they're just saying, this is our map. This is the strong one. We'll see you on Icebox. Let's go. Looking at the current buys. And this is such a broken economy for the side of G5. Get from Darren though, he gets one, he's looking for the second here, we get the Hawk out, he actually does, and the second here, has he quite got it? No, he gets a dink. Ryan will shut him down though, 4v4, good damage done there. Should be able to get the heal back up, yeah, we're getting aggressive towards C Long, and Arisna's got that, and now they can start pushing out here towards that. Bex is going to have a lot to deal with here, the shock dart might actually just land right on top of them there, and actually gets Ryan down pretty low health, but Ryan fishes Bex off before they can even get anything done here, Triple A. We'll pick up at least one there with the knives. 3v2 is the bomb. We'll start to go down. And now AAA and also Voids left in this one. In the 2v3 to keep themselves in this map. They need to get everything right here. AAA, 22 kills on this map. He just hasn't had anyone go with him, unfortunately, here on G5. And Arisna puts him down. And now Voids needs to go absolutely huge here. 1v2 now. Does have his ultimate, the teleport. It's not really going to matter in this situation, though. There's the bomb out in the open as well. High shot holding towards long. Meanwhile, the flank coming in as well here from Derive. The flash. High shot speaks Attackers out. Win. Puts Voids in the ground. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to map three. It is a 13-4. A bit of a shellacking there from the side of Eviction Notice. They respond after going 39 down on Split and Amp. They were clinical here. I, I can't believe it. Like, from what I was just staring at, 13 to 4, that is a huge score. Like, if you look at it right here on the current um, scoreboard, right? Triple A, 22 13 3, 91 econ rating, and 3 first blood. The thing is, this man has just been fragging like no tomorrow, has been able to solely carry, but then. The rest of his team is on the bottom. And that's a little bit of a bad thing. I know Highshot is also down here, but Highshot was playing that defense. Mostly he was sitting at that C. So didn't really need to show what he was all about. But yeah, as you said, has like, this is not the G5 we were expecting from first map performance. First map performance on split, they were just dominating. They were so good at it. And I don't even think they were trying to throw, but we are going to go to game three. We're going to go to Icebox, and that is just <laughs> solid. Oh, I don't know. This is... Uh, are we going to see Viper and Killjoy Pixie? I mean, I'm, I'm a fan. Come on, let's go. Exactly. I mean, look, as uh, unfortunately, as bad as G5 really were on that map, just couldn't really get into it. Yeah, you have to give that a lot down to how well Eviction Notice played. They were really sold on defense, and they're on attack. Did not drop a single round there as they just cruised to that 13-4. But yes, we're going to be going on to a map three, guys. We are going to go to a quick break. When we return, it's Icebox.
And one of these two Glen Waverley sides will be taking home the Vic Valorant Metal High School Championships. Will it be G5 or is it going to be the boys on eviction notice to clean this one up? We will return right after this.